Alright, so uh, really quick, I just wanted to show you guys some uh, pencil crabs I picked up from uh, Reef Cleaners. So um, they are actually a lot bigger than I expected. Probably like three times the size of uh, emeralds. And sorry, it's uh, kind of leaking. But um, yeah, so I picked these guys up from uh, Reef Cleaners to see if they would do a better job at um, eating bubble algae. Um, looking at their size, I picked up all males because they have uh, smaller pincers, uh, unlike the reverse for emerald crabs. But uh, looking at their sheer size, I sure hope that they do a lot more than emerald crabs. So I picked up around like five of these guys. I'll probably put maybe three or four into my tank, and I will give you guys an update uh, when the time comes. But yeah, cute little fella, and hopefully he does a lot of great work. Alright, so I just dropped in the uh, first pencil crab. Um, yeah, he's kind of just skirting on the front glass, but uh, sorry, the glass is a little dirty. Oh, he's just flipping over, I guess. Um, but yeah, you see how goofy these guys are? Uh, but yeah, they're pretty big. I mean, you can kind of see the size compared to uh, my clownfish there. And uh, hopefully he finds a little spot to um, just kind of call home and start uh, destroying the bubble algae. Alright, so so far I dropped uh, three of the guys, these guys into the tank. These two guys are kind of just hanging up here in the front. It's kind of like a, like a large size. This guy's a little bit smaller. And uh, I dropped one guy over here on the rocks. And you can kind of see he found a little nice spot. And he's kind of eating uh, some stuff off the rocks. I can um, assure that they're eating bubble algae right now. But I'll probably update you guys here in a couple of weeks to uh, give you guys kind of an update. But for the most part, I was pretty impressed with the um, stuff from Reef Cleaners. Uh, I will say that some of these crabs have like missing a uh, little like legs, so I wasn't sure if that's from handling or stress. But uh, overall, they are alive, and I'm unpacking a bunch of other things. So uh, yeah, initial thought is pretty good. And uh, like I said, I will reach out and update you guys uh, here in a little bit. Alright, so it's been about a week since I picked up the uh, pitho crabs. Uh, I might have said pinto crabs in um, the earlier clip. I don't know, I think I was just thinking about pinto beans, but um, yes, P I T H O, so pito crabs. I really don't know how to pronounce them. And uh, if I sound a little funny, it's because I started Invisalign, so I might be like, my words might sound a little funny. But uh, yeah, so it's been about a week since I've picked up these crabs. And uh, inside this tank currently, um, I started off with three, but actually uh, put four in here. And uh, I can say that they do indeed uh, eat bubble algae. What I did was um, I isolated a few inside of the cups and I fed them bubble algae and came back and I saw them eating it. So um, yeah, it is guaranteed that they eat, do eat bubble algae, but whether or not that is their uh, first choice is, uh, I guess, entirely up to them. So uh, what I've seen over the uh, past week was that typically during the daytime, you won't really, really see them uh, out and on your rocks and stuff. They uh, tend to stay buried down inside the sand like conscious. So if you look at my sand, you'll see kind of, um, I don't know if you guys can see it well. Maybe I'll lower the brightness a little bit. Uh, you kind of see like little white spots where they uh, typically bury. Um, that and my conscious, of course. But yeah, during the day, they stay uh, kind of buried down and um, kind of like conscious. Yeah, very similar to conscious. Um, but that's all they do during the day. I don't really see them out and about. Uh, really similar to emerald crabs. Uh, they're mainly nocturnal, so once the lights come off, I do see them out and um, on. They tend to stay in like the lower uh, half of the tank, but I do see them crawling up on my rocks occasionally. And um, bubble algae has uh, started to die down a little bit with the help of uh, some removal from me and of course the existing uh, emerald crabs I have inside the tank. Um, I will say that I've only picked up all males as uh, the female pito crabs have larger claws um, opposite of those compared to uh, the emerald crabs. So uh, I can only talk about those guys. Their, their claws are like super tiny so really harmless. Uh, I haven't seen them attacking coral. I've seen them like on my Duncan, but they're not actively like eating it. I think they're just picking off algae. And um, I think they also play nice with the uh, other inverts. I haven't really seen any uh, mysterious deaths on uh, any other livestock. So yeah, that's uh, just a quick wrap up of um, 
the pito crabs from reef cleaners and uh yeah so um hopefully in the next uh video where i update do an update of this tank um yeah bubble algae uh maybe s starting to find the correct livestock to deal with it um yeah that about wraps up this video if you guys have uh, any other questions about um these crabs or any general questions uh leave them in the comments below and i'll try my best to answer them so yeah, see you guys next time.